The class is Global Theories, Local Realities, and it's really a hands-on class. And it goes really student-led. We bring topics to class that we'll then discuss, like global issues, local issues. It's really cool because we all get to share our opinions and learn from each other. We choose a topic that we want to research and we pursue that and raise awareness or affect change regarding that issue. The idea of them directing their course of study by uh, virtue of their interests and their curiosity, but also this idea of working with somebody else. That's built into the experience. There's this collaboration internally, so partner work essentially, or small group, but then there's the collaboration, and even more importantly, is with organizations and professionals outside of the building. We were able to do a lot of good research that helped us learn a lot about the issue and we got a lot of good connections. One of the people that we met with was Grant Snyder. He's the lead investigator in all sex trafficking cases in Minneapolis. We also went to a shelter called Brittany's Place. The only reason we were able to do the brunch is because we got in contact with Wendy and Diana Nelson of the Carlson Foundation and they took a chance on us in giving us the grant. We ended up at the end of our event asking for donations from all of our guests. Everyone was super generous and so we raised over $7,000 which we donated to Brittany's Place. When they actually interface with professionals doing the work, that's when the most learning happens and sometimes they actually get really motivated to try to act. We chose concussions. Robert has a lot of experience with concussions. When we look at the school policy, we found it to be like very vague and not very complete. And so we uh, had a meeting with the concussion specialist that Robert has worked with in the past. We worked with them to try and like come up with a new solution. The kind of foundational principles of the course include empathy, and then there's the idea of being a global citizen. But we have to emphasize this idea of creativity, otherwise, they're going to look to imitate what has already been done and proven successful. So the hard part is getting them to understand just because something was successful in the past is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to do something original. Highway 101 and 7, very high interaction. A lot of cars go through there every day and there's been bad accidents there. So we put a sign there, texting and driving in a red light's illegal and dangerous. I think that's what it read. We had a couple interviews with the Star Tribune and Lakeshore Weekly News, which was really cool. And then, then the school paper reached out to us too. So now we're referred to as the texting and driving kids. And I think we've definitely helped a lot of people with the awareness aspect of it. The opportunity gap is something that's really hard to solve or make progress, because obviously it's such a multifaceted issue and it's very complex. And so we kind of made a video to show how that divide in North and South Minneapolis affects students. We asked kids in high school how they've notice the divide or how it makes them feel and like microaggressions they face due to their race. This video is really important for not only just the people at Blake to see but just like it's our city and it's important that people know that like these students are just high schoolers just like us. We saw these maps on where the lakes were that you could swim in, what like you could fish in, which ones you could boat on and the map showed that like it's less than 20 percent of the lakes that are like in this metro area, the Twin Cities area, that you can like actually use. We decided that the best thing to do is just to educate people about it. So we went to the lower school and we presented like where it comes from, what it is, and what little things they can do to help. We had a pamphlet that had all these different ideas that they could do that were super easy things like reuse your rainwater, adopt a storm drain, plant a rain garden, all these things that they could easily go home and do that would make a really big difference. It really makes you think differently, and it's not based on if you do this, you'll get an A. It's more of a process and a journey. So the students are asked to grade themselves. They're also asked to, uh, along the way, to evaluate their group mates or their partners. Of course, ultimately, I'm the teacher, and it comes down to my overall assessment. One big part of how I want students to walk away from this course is to see that they can be change agents, that they can affect change in the world. My biggest takeaway is it's kind of clear cliche, but small things can have a domino effect on bigger things. My biggest takeaway was being able to understand what's going on around the world, not just in like Minnesota or the U.S., and share your opinion so you can actually figure out what you personally think about it rather than just like reading it. Through this class, I've just become so much more aware of everything. I think it really prepares you for being definitely a global citizen and hopefully someone of global change. Where I was before this class was thinking I couldn't do anything to make a difference, but now I think that I can.